It's students having their say. John Logan School of Thought on 89.7. My name is Missy Dover and I have Sam Jones here with me to talk about sustainability. Sam, did you know that disposable coffee cups make up the second biggest amount of litter waste after plastic bottles? Wow, Missy. I've also heard that Australians use one billion disposable coffee cups each year. That's really worrying to think about all of them ending up in landfill or in our oceans and affecting the environment. Exactly. And that is one of the reasons why we came up with this idea of creating more sustainability for our school to use. Our primary school has a community kitchen area where our parents often spend time catching up over coffee. Last year we were learning about sustainability in class and the damage pollution and waste can have on our environment. When we noticed that our parents were using disposable cups, coffee cups every day. After looking into it further, we found that the cups they were using weren't recyclable. While the outside paper part is recyclable, but the inside plastic lining and ring under the edge is not. They can be a danger to animals, so we decided to do something about it. As a part of our project, we worked in a group of eight students with our teacher to research the different materials that can be made into reusable cups. We looked at how long they would take to break down naturally and what and what they were made of and how they were made. The idea of actually getting the cups made developed the more we talked about it. Then our teacher helped us to put together a survey for our parents and teachers to answer. So we knew exactly what they wanted from a usable coffee cup. We asked more than 100 parents and teachers to choose what materials they would prefer, how much they would be willing to spend, what size and what benefits they would like to see, such as being dishwasher safe and having the school logo and colours. The results came back with a medium-sized dishwasher safe plastic cup in the school colours. We worked with the school marketing department to get quotes on different designs that, they, that would fit in with the survey results and ended up choosing the brand Keep Cup. The cups were ordered and are for sale all around the school. Now we see so many parents and teachers using them, which is great. It makes us feel like we were part of something that changed the school for the better. We learnt a lot along the way. The project was a great way for us to think about sustainability and how we can do our own bit to help out. We don't want an artificial world. Everyone needs to do something about it. Sustainability is important because when things are sustainable, they affect nature and animals are suffering and that's not good. We need nature to survive. We need trees to breathe, so it's really important. Our coffee cup project inspired me that I started noticing how much rubbish and waste there is around and how it impacts our environment. I remember going down to the local lake and seeing lots of plastic straws piled up, which worried me so much that I actually wrote to the local member of parliament about changing to recyclable straws, paper straws, as the plastic ones can take hundreds of years to break down. That is a long time and it is destroying our environment and our sea creatures. They are eating the plastic straws and the plastic bags, which can be harmful. The MP actually wrote back to me and said they agreed and would take it into Parliament. So I'm, at, I'm glad I was able to have a say and hopefully make a difference. That's great, Missy. I remember some students saying to, to a teacher, there was so much plastic in our, soft, in our bins, which led to the idea of Waste Free Wednesdays, where you had to be mindful of your packaging and try to pack your lunch without any plastic. It was interesting to see the amount of plastic things brought into school go down, and people liked the challenge, and they started doing every day of the week. Yes, now we seem to actually question if plastic is needed and maybe just pack our lunches in small boxes instead of disposable plastic. So the focus on sustainability has definitely changed the way we think and how we do things. When I was looking into sustainability for one of our projects, I came across a website called The World Counts. It has a live stream of how much waste there is in the world, which is really interesting and worrying at the same time. I often... I open, I often open it on my computer to see how fast the levels of waste go up. I would really recommend it to, to people just to see how, just to have a look at, and see how much waste plastic there is in the world. Simply changes like not using plastic packaging, going to places that don't have any packaging, like the wasteless pantry, using reusable shopping bags, or reusable coffee cups are all good steps towards helping the world. I think if we, make, we all make more sustainable choices together, we can make a difference for the future. Thanks for listening.